Well, Ethiopia's Prime Minister Hale Mariam Desalen has also weighed in on the situation in Gambia. In an interview with CCTV, Desalen says any irregularities in the presidential elections must be addressed according to the law. The Ethiopian leader has also spoken out about the upcoming election of the new AU Commission chairperson. Grim Chala has this exclusive interview. As a matter of principle, uh, the country has a law and a legal mechanisms to address when there is any conflict arising from the election, uh, you know, uh, disputes. Then these disputes has to be, uh, uh, you know, should be addressed properly. But I wish if the president who congratulated the president-elect uh, should abide and concede to what he has already agreed upon. That would make uh, the country and the Gambians very happy. That's, that's my personal view. But if there is any irregularities, then it should be addressed according to uh, the electoral law and the law of the country. According to your opinions and the opinion of your government as well, the EU summit, uh, uh, what kind of role should it play in choosing the next chairperson so that the visions uh, and, and the, the targets of the continent can be achieved through uh, the elections? I suggest that everyone focuses on the quality of the candidate rather than on the area or f region from where this candidate has come has uh, is coming from so i believe the leaders during this election will be cognizant of the fact that our con our commission and our union needs a reform there is a reform agenda already launched and some of the leaders, there is a committee of leaders who are working on the reform agenda. And this chairperson of the commission, who is going to assume the next position, is the one who is going to, in, to entrust, to spearhead, uh, spearhead this, uh, this uh, uh, reform and steer the process. And therefore, I believe uh, we need a strong uh, chairperson of the commission for the coming uh, period. You know, we set for ourselves um, a vision 2063, and we have a 10 years plan uh, for transformation of uh, our continent. Uh, most of the, uh, you know, countries who are uh, below uh, the poverty line, 50% and above, should be extricated from this as quickly as possible. And a middle income African continent <clears throat> should be witnessed in the coming 10 years or so. So I think our vision has to be uh, materialized and we need a strong chairperson for this reason. And, and I urge all the leaders to elect, to focus on the quality of the candidate rather than the region.